All right, well, now that we got a confirmation on our last coin join, we can go ahead and uh, start our next project here. So now we're going to use uh, partially signed Bitcoin transactions to go ahead and uh, do some more coin joins. This time we're going to do coin joins with other people. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. I do have a little workflow that we're going to work through here. So it's kind of in two steps. So I have uh, this uh, step here and then we're going to go to a second step. Um, if you just want to see like the process, I know I'm going to get kind of long winded here on my GitHub page. I do have a bunch of long rambling thoughts about this process that I've been kind of working out. Um, and at the bottom is the little workflow. So this is all you got to do. Uh, first, you're going to create your partially signed Bitcoin transaction. Then you're going to send this to the coordinator. So we're going to emulate having multiple users. I'm going to just pretend that I'm two people. So we're going to use two separate wallets and we're going to do that. Uh, the way that we're going to do that, I'm just going to switch my wallet.dat file, rename it. So you'll see how that's going to work. Uh, then once the coordinator has it, uh, they'll take everybody's uh, PSBTs and join them together um, at that point. Every user is going to need to sign that BSBT, PSBT, and the way you do that is you use a command called wallet process PSBT. Once you do that, you take that signed transaction, send it back to the coordinator. That coordinator is going to combine it, finalize it, and then send it to the network. Pretty simple. We'll run through it right now. So here's our wallet. We're going to do just like we did last time. We're running a Bitcoin Core full node. It's a testnet node and we are fully synced with the network. So we're going to go ahead, open our console and here's where we're going to run all our commands. I do have all the commands that we're going to run in this uh, little notepad file. You can also find this on the GitHub page. And what we're going to do here is we're going to try to mix with other people. So the idea is that we're going to have equal inputs, equal outputs. I showed this in my previous thing. So we're going to have the same amount coming in everybody and the same amount going out. Uh, the only trick of that is you have to pay a little fees when you go in. So we're going to set this up. So um, we're able to pay those fees on the way in. The way we're going to do that is at the end, everybody wants to have outputs of 0 0.125 BTC. So at the end, all our mixed outputs are going to be equal to this, no matter how many they are. But to do that, we're going to do a couple rounds of mixing. We're going to pay fees in each one. So I said, all right, let's use four in, four out again. And what we're going to do is pay about 325 sats each input. And the way that we're going to do this is you just take the 0 0.125. And for the first mix, we're going to add the 325 twice and then just take it off. This hopefully will make a little more sense uh, as we go along. So as you can see, the first round, all the coin join amounts are going to be this. So what we're going to need to do is just copy paste this and into this coin join amount one field. As you can see, there's four of them. So the reason for that is because this balance that we have in our wallet is not going to be equal to four times this. We're going to have a little change. And instead of just making our four coin joins and having one change amount, which would be very obvious to chain analysis, we're going to actually just coin join the change too. So we're just going to take the change and split it in two. So we're going to have two coin joined outputs there that will also be hopefully mysterious. So let's just go ahead and we'll paste control V, control V, control V, and control V. Now we got to figure out our coin join amount too. So this is going to be our change amount divided by two. So let's just go ahead and we're going to copy this. This is our wallet balance here since we're going to basically be coin joining everything in the wallet again. Uh, if we were going to do specific amounts, I'd have to run list unspent and add up my output values. But here we're going to just take the full amount and we're going to subtract this four times from it. Since we're doing spending it four times, we want to be accurate about that. So subtract it by control B, two, three, four. And equals okay so this is the amount that's left over we're gonna need to pay our fees out of this amount sorry printer going there so anyway this is the remainder left so we're gonna coin join with half of this but before we do that we need to take some money out I'm gonna pause this here sorry for the interruption there anyways um, this is the amount that we have remaining after we spend these four uh, amounts that we're going to put into the coin join with our next people. So we need to pay our fee out of this. So our last coin join that we spent, uh, we needed about 500 sats. So let's do that again. So let's just subtract 0 0.12345, 500. I don't need the 
zero, zero, whatever. All right, so equals. Okay, so this we're going to divide by two. And that's the amount of our coin join change. So we could just copy paste that. And uh, let's do this. And for some reason, Bitcoin Core just hates when I copy paste from my calculator. So I'm just going to type this out. One, four, five. And then I'm going to just copy paste this over this. It took me a long time to figure out why I was getting JSON parse errors um, because the transaction was structured correctly, but for whatever reason, it just doesn't like the copy paste from there. So, all right, so now we have our coin join amounts all figured out. So, we'll need our TXID ins and outs, and we'll need some addresses. So, I guess let's get our TXIDs first. So, the way that we're going to do this, I explained uh, in our previous coin join videos. So, uh, hopefully, you watch those. Basically, this is like your wallet uh, by running a command called list unspent, which is in the guide there. This is going to give us all the, in essence, the denominations that are in our wallet. So these are all the different values. These happen to all be the exact same amount because we ran a coin join on these previously. So if you watch the previous video, you'll see how that works. And you'll also see why our TX IDs are identical for all of these. Uh, so what's different on these is the V outs. Um, and of course the addresses, since we sent these all to unique addresses. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll grab our TXID and we'll drop this into the TXID fields here. And since it's the same for all of them, we're just going to copy paste it into each one of these. And then our V outs here, we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I really don't need to copy paste those. I'm just going to type them in 0, 1, 2. Well, so much for that. 2 and 3. All right, so. That part of it's done. Now we need six addresses. So the six is because we have four uh, UTXOs that we're going to coin join with other people. And this is the amount that everybody's agreed is going to be the amount that goes in. And then these are change amounts. Uh, we're going to create addresses that we own for all of these. And the way that we're going to do this is not in this tutorial. So let's grab it from one of my other ones. That one we did in the previous video. Uh, we're going to paste this six times. So control V, control V. Well, I don't need that seventh address, but whatever. All right, so one. And we're going to put this in address one. Address two. And you know what? Let's move this whole thing over. Address three. Address four. Address five and address six and as i said last time i do like to look at the last few characters there make sure nothing is duplicated i'm not accidentally sending two of my mixes to the same address that would be very dumb uh, so looks good here we can go ahead and we'll just copy paste this and this is going to be our pre-mix transaction we did everything right we're just going to copy paste this hit enter and we're going to get a hex so this is the raw hex of our transaction you could decode this simply by doing the code and you could just select decode raw transaction, hit space, control V to paste. And this is going to show us we have our four inputs that are ready to be coin joined with other people. And we have our coin join change. All right, everything looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sign the transaction. So we sign and we're going to select sign transaction with wallet, hit space and paste. Signing transaction with wallet is really cool. In the past, you had to actually get private keys for each of these addresses, and the transaction format was much more complicated. Now, with this one command, you just sign all those transactions, each with their own private key. It looks on chain like they're not even connected. No one will know unless you do something to combine them later on. So now you just double click to um, double click to select all, and that selects your transaction. And now we can go ahead and send to the network. So we're going to send Roth transaction. I'm going to hit space, control V, and there we go. So we sent this to the network. It cost us our 500 sats that we calculated, and this is our transaction hash. So we're able to just go right ahead, go to the blocks cipher testnet explorer, drop our transaction hash in here, and it should be live already. And here we can see it. There's our 500 satoshis. I guess it cuts off the last... Uh, zeros there as you can see it does the same thing here so that's the total amount that was transacted here we could see all our inputs and here's our output so here's the amounts that we're ready to run through the 
coin join with other people and here's some coin join change so um, this is a very nice clean coin join transaction so that's our premix once we get our first confirmation on this we'll be able to go to our next step which is going to be creating our PSBT the format is identical so exactly what we just did here to create our raw transaction we're gonna do basically the same exact thing uh, except instead of create raw transaction we are going to create a PSBT uh, once we get that it's just a matter of doing a couple steps to um, share it with the other participants everybody then has to sign um, a PSBT that is joined between all participants everybody signs it sends it back to the coordinator they finalize it send it to the network because we pay almost nothing in fees here we're paying like the absolute cheapest that you can uh, our transactions are usually not prioritized on testnet you're gonna go pretty quick uh, if it's uh, if we're doing this for cold storage or um, something that we don't really care if it takes 10 20 minutes takes an hour using these minimum fee amounts is not a problem if you want to pay more you simply do the math and you pay whatever you'd like um, by making a decent amount of transactions you can go back and see how much they are um, you can also just pay nothing in fees and then uh, Bitcoin core will give you an error and it'll tell you how much it requires and then you can go back and make a change that pays you to that exact amount or slightly more you could double triple quadruple it if you want it to go through faster uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause and we'll be back soon.